What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Live from the Sweet Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live from the Sweet and Snack Show. I'm here with Ryan Farr. Ryan, talk about your company and what you guys do. Great. Uh, well, thanks for coming to talk to me. Yeah. Um, so we're 4505 Meats, and we uh, create and sell humanely raised chicharrones and cracklins, which are pork rinds, all natural pork rinds. And Why 4505? What's that? 4505 is a celebration of life. It's a tribute to a fellow friend and chef. And uh, so it's all about just kind of keeping things simple and, um, yeah, celebration. So why did you start the company? So I started making our classic chicharrones in my apartment nine years ago. And uh, I was, my background... Were you was, always into them or what? Yeah. My background is a chef and a butcher and really into a whole animal utilization. Hmm. And this is, you know, I really got sick of throwing away the skin. So this was a way of u- use, utilizing the waste. Um, I was working on a nonprofit. It was very satisfying, but I wasn't able to pay all the bills. My son was on the way and, um, you know, baby needs diapers. So I had a, <laughs> I had some pig skins in my fridge and started making them and walking around to the local bars and markets in San Francisco, in the same mission district I live today. So what were the, some of the original flavors and some of the flavors today? So the original flavors are classic, which is our chili and lime. And it's just a really good balance. Um, a little bit of, not a little bit of heat, more like chili flavor um, and salt. And, and uh, the chicharrones uh, have more of a airy kind of airy texture, more melt in your mouth opposed to our cracklins. Uh, a couple years ago, we came out with our smokehouse barbecue and our cheddar jalapeno, and we just launched our sea salt and chili lime cracklins, which are more kind of your crunchier, have a little bit more texture going on, and kind of think of like a whole roasted hog with a crunch when you're like cutting into it, opposed to like an airy chicharron. Yeah. They're delicious. So talk about your background as a chef and butcher a little bit. What kind of stuff were you making? And you know, I don't yeah. know if people can visualize that. So. I started washing dishes when I was 15 and been in the food business uh, my whole life. Um, we actually have a restaurant as well in San Francisco, nice. a barbecue restaurant. But my, my upbringing in the restaurant business was more kind of fine dining, more refined technique, and always focused on um, you know, local products and uh, always in the farmer's markets. And that's really how we started, even though I was making these in my apartment. Nine years ago, we then got into farmer's markets and had opened a butcher shop. And so it was really just... Um, I don't know, always follow our stomach, you know, when it comes to making major decisions to follow our stomach. So do you find that they're more popular in certain regions? Um, Well, yeah. I mean, the fact that we are in the Northern California region and it's our hometown and uh, the Bay Area and and have a lot of a lot of folks that are into quality meats like we are. And so it's been great. And yeah, there's definitely regions where uh, chicharrones and pork rinds and cracklins are are more popular than others, but you know this is this is a high protein meat snack. There's nothing else in the uh, snack category that is actual protein, and is at the uh, the quality that we're at with yeah. humanely raised and buck free. I want to talk about the different flavors and how you decide to actually come out with with different flavors. Because I imagine it's it's difficult because now you have all new packaging, you have to a whole new production line. How do you decide what's next? Yeah, well, first and foremost, we'd start with what tastes good. We don't sit around a table and be like, "There needs this is what the data says, let's make this product. We're like, no, we want to eat this. Yeah. So let's create this. This is what we eat. And then we figure everything else out. Um, but as for like these flavors, you know, I did a lot with my kids in the kitchen. Like my kids really helped me develop all these stuff did it at my home kitchen opposed to like a lab or something like that. Right. Um, and I really look at... Um, you can get a kid to eat it. Anyone only, you okay. know. Yeah, a six and eight-year-old. They're they're all about it. Um, and then they bring it to their kid, their friends at school. So it's great. We're just kind of starting it now early. Um, but as for the flavor profiles, you know, really look at... Um, what kind of a, I just kind of say a no veto 
player profile like menu, if you would, will, so that there's something for everybody on there. Like, you know, one's cheddar jalapeno that has a little bit of dairy. It's a little richer. It's great, good flavor. It's got a little heat. You know, our sea salt crackling is just, it's just salt and crackling. So it's just like great flavor and no sugar. Same with the chili lime, no sugar. Um, it's really clean. Um, yeah, the chili salt, that's what I was saying before. That's, it's not spicy like chili lime. This is the classic flavor that has a little, um, uh, it really uplifts the flavor of the pork rind, and so it's not overpowering. And then our smokehouse barbecue, that was inspired because at our barbecue restaurant in San Francisco, it's it's the same uh, based on the same recipe that we use on our rib rubs for our pork mm. ribs that we smoke. So it was kind of like, all right, well, this is what we know what we're doing, and this is what we're going to do, and and so um, yeah, just totally. follow our stomach. So Ryan, where can people get it? Online and in yeah. any locations? Yeah, you can. Uh, you know, obviously our website, Amazon. Uh, Whole Foods, Whole Foods, uh, yeah, this next couple of weeks, so Whole Foods at any Whole Foods in the nation. Wow. And uh, yeah, New Natural Markets, there's some Kroger's, some Safeways, and, and so we're out there. But definitely you can go online and type in your zip code and you can find exactly yeah. where we're at. But we'll definitely. What's the National. mother website that people should check out? Is it 4505 uh, meatscom Cool. Yeah. Um, talk about uh, a proud moment. It's probably, you know, not an easy journey. You started off making them in your kitchen years ago what's been a kind of a proud milestone for you mm, good question good question any particular you know store that you got into or any milestone that you hit yeah i, mean, I think just where we're at right now i mean this is just one big proud moment because when i created these i i was under the perception that i could just like make this product and walk to the grocery store of like whole foods for example and be like hey friends here's my product <laughs> That's can, what can you, you did with the bars, though, right? So with the bars, yeah. yeah. So, you know, going through and realizing how difficult it was to launch with the big retailer. And I'm really proud that we've navigated through that. And, and we have, a, you know, our global launch is happening this, uh, this next month. So it's, it's great. It's great. We've definitely been working hard. And it's been, it's been a, lot of, um, a lot of proud moments. A lot of work, yeah, yeah. totally. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. And live from the Sweet and Snack Show. What I got can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.